my beautiful Libra, how are you? Welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. This is your message for July part two. If you're able to do so and they haven't switched the comments off with darkness attacking the channel, please me, leave me a little message, a little heart, a little hello. I love connecting with your energy. I love you saying hello to me. So we're going to take these beautiful oracle cards, one of each, maybe two, depending on how they're feeling. And then we're going to get into your tarot read. So we have relationship your primary relationship is with yourself and god and every other relationship follows from there to attract heal or balance a relationship then snuggle more closely with your loving creator as you feel safe and love within so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper and we have phoenix be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis Go into karma waters, baby. Right, let's get into it, Libra. What have we got for our beautiful Libra for July part two, please? What do we have for them? July part two for our beautiful Libra. Your first card is eight of wands in past energies. Communication coming through for you. Swift energy. We'll get some clarifiers as we go. Thank you so much. We have the ten of wands. We have the knight of cups. We have the six of cups. And we need two more, please, angel spirit guys. We have the lovers. And we have the five of swords. Thank you. And at the bottom, we have the page of cups. This could be a message coming in to you. This could be secrets to be told. So it could mean something to do with the children. Right. Eight of wands. Thank you so much. We have the two of pentacles and the world. The cycle is complete. Lovely. Ten of wands. What's this all about? Okay. Work, 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 work. King of cups. Okay. Rightio. There's a situation. Got you. Yep. Knight of cups then. Knight of Wands, charging in. So we're on a mission of the heart. There's a message coming to you. Something to do with family or past energies. And it's something you're going to be working upon, Libra. This is interesting. This is a hidden influence. Six of Cups is there again. So nostalgia, past memories, judgment is blowing the horn on it. Okay, there's an opportunity coming into you. A bit more. Bear with, there's two, one thrown on the floor. So we have the moon in reverse and we have the empress. What a change in frequency. Okay, lovers please, lovers. Our oh, beautiful, beautiful Libra. Okay, we have the page of pentacles. We have the three of cups, baby. Yeah, we do, because we're talking about relationships and you think it's beautiful. Any more? No? Five of swords, then. What do they feel defeated in? Ah, because you've got this opportunity. Growth or sight. We don't feel defeated or blindsided by something. A little bit more. Thank you. And you've been blocking negativity. And at the bottom, we have the Nine of Blooming Cups, which is absolutely phenomenal. That's your dream desires coming into fruition. And there is a change in frequency, my beautiful Libra. I can see it throughout the old read. So I'm going to grab my drink, take a seat, and we shall begin. So my beautiful Libra, we've got relationship. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God and every other relationship follows from here. To attract, heal or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator as you feel safe and love within. So, sh so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. And this is when I talk about working on you. Now, the reason Lion Gates Heart Tarot doesn't do necessarily relationship reads if it comes out in the read obviously I speak about it it's not because I'm cold-hearted at all I'm complete love energy but it's about a frequency of working on you now when you work on you your inner self your heart energy moving forward and it's learning to love yourself then you're projecting the right frequency moving forward so that means you receive the right frequency back so working on you get in touch with your spirit guides your higher self work on you with God however you see it we've got Phoenix be prepared to re be renewed after a crisis 
So this is the rise of the phoenix. You are rising from the ashes into your new self with a new heart frequency because green can represent the heart chakra energy. So we're going to, we're starting with past energies and the eight of wands. So you had some communication coming into you and you've had to remain balanced emotionally with it. That's what I feel. But this is a completion of the cycle. So this is something that you've been waiting for so this news has come into you and it's upskilled your emotions a little bit but the world is now complete now the world as you can see the naked dancer holds the wands to the universe basically the world is the secrets a doorway to the universe it's where everything wants it's the new beginning in life and what's happened it's success and it's fulfillment so you're starting a new chapter and it can be a little bit upskilling for you because you've got to remain balanced during this time as it said here but it's absolutely phenomenal but we are going to the ten of wands you feel like you've been carrying as a burner slow now this could be emotionally because we've got the two of pentacles that can be obviously financially but it could be emotionally as well and what i feel it's emotion here because we've got the ten of wands so you're like how can this even be feeling good lauren and at the end of the day it's the current circumstance and what it's saying is it's finality okay you've been overloaded absolutely probably overextending yourself and it's become a struggle but this is for something you've manifested moving forward now the king of energy is there and he's holding the wand of energy and this is knowledge this is action and foresight towards something and holding his inner wisdom remaining balanced at all times as the king of cups in a situation even on rocky waters he tries to maintain his emotional balance there we have the five of pentacles which tells me you felt left out in the cold and like the wounded warrior but this is actually the last step guys and they want you to know that you feel wounded in the situation so whatever you are been working for and tirelessly and something you've manifested had to remain balanced you feel left out in the cold this is the last step and this is for your independence power so what it's saying is this communication has been released you've been juggling life the com the is a completion the cycle is complete but this last bit is it, it's all working out for you so you've been carrying this burden this load it's something you've worked towards and not just manifested you put the frequency out to the universe you work towards it emotionally you're trying to remain balanced even on rocky waters because you've been left out in the cold and felt like the wounded warrior but you are doing this for your independent growth and power. And it's coming into fruition because hidden influence, we have the Knight of Cups. This is you on a mission of the heart. This is a somebody coming in with a cup of love even. It can be either or. So the Knight of Cups, if you're going forward on this journey, manifesting, put it into fruition, holding your cup of love, then you're working from the heart, which is what we said here with the heart shackle, which is the right place to work from. Now, what it's saying is you do, this is hidden influence. The Knight of Wands brings in a message. It's a message of energy, okay? It's the mission of the movement moving forward. And it can mean unpredictable travel even coming into play. And you could be traveling by water because we've got the Knight of Cups. Now, something you've started in the past is coming into play and they want you to be aware of it because it's something that you use to make money okay so you've started something in the past which is this communication the cycle you've working your book towards it it's moving forward you've put all your energy into it feeling like the wounded warrior you're on a mission of the heart but communication is coming to you this is something you've started in the past because we're talking about nostalgia past memories it can even be related to family the six of cups in my reads but it's to do with the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles represents the passion you use to make money so you've got a message with regarding that and you could be traveling due to this message and that's what they're saying so the hidden influence is your heart energy which is absolutely amazing because it's all coming into fruition now the obstacles as i said that can mean my family card we've got the six of cups that's clarified with judgment the moon in reverse and the empress so what that's talking about is past memories that's your past the six of cups okay childhood memories that can be my family card as well so a lot of the time it's past memories with family that's how i see it and judgment is blowing its horn now judgment is saying lay your past to rest release your past self forgive others and move forward because this opportunity is coming to you now what they're also saying is it can be related to an opportunity and it's going to upskill the family dynamics which can be an obstacle absolutely but the moon is be very careful because hidden enemies lurk you will have to keep your wits about you so make sure you're in tune with your angel spirit guides make sure you ask michael to come in for protection and all your angels surround you with their beautiful light um i'm not i'm not saying be worried about it i'm not at all just go with your intuition that's what I would say, because you can see through the illusions, because 
we've got Empress energy. Empress is the highest queen, if you like. You know, she's holding, um, she's holding the wand of energy there, and she's also abundance. And maybe what's happening now, something's been hidden from you with regards family, but judgment is blowing its horn for your abundance. What this could mean is this opportunity is bringing you abundance, but it's going to impact your family dynamics and it's upskittling the energy. It can be causing you a bit of depression. So it's like a decision has to be made because what you should do is make a decision is next. And that's how I feel here, my beautiful Libra. So what you should do, lovers, with a page of pentacles and the three of cups. So in this case, what it can mean is lovers is a decisive point that's been met. OK, and the page of pentacles is for the new the page holds one pentacle. OK, so that's the new material round taking place here and you're going to celebrate it. Absolutely. But the page of pentacles is like the message, the material help and money development coming into play here. And a decisive point has been made. I believe that something in the past here you're going to have to let go of, but you're going to have to be clever about it. And because you're expressing this new thing into existence, a decisive point has been met and it could mean a talk, talk about you improving your skill set. Absolutely. Um, you know, returning to education, getting a bit more foresight. But the three of cups is celebrations of such, which is phenomenal. So whatever it is, a decisive point is going to be made for this new this new seed. That's what I feel. You're going to celebrate it. You're going to celebrate it with those you love. So it's amazing. It's just this part here with the moon in reverse and judgment together it's this part you've got to be aware of and it could be to do with as i said past things um because we've got the six of cups here and we've also got the six of cups here so this is a hidden influence but here it's an obstacle so this is something you've started in the past but here it's something you've started in the past but i very much see as like childhood memories past efforts there's something hidden that you need to be aware of because judgment's blown its horn and all i would say there is make sure you listen because this new seed of hope that the page carries is phenomenal and it's into the material realm and it's like the development of Slutch. He works more and talks less sort of energy. A decisive point, but you are going to celebrate. Now, which it could be your partner who works more, talks less, and you're going to celebrate. He's probably got a new position coming in. A decisive point has been met. But be aware with the illusion here. Um, and that's what I feel. So just be aware listen for the horn blowing now the five of swords is the outcome what it's saying with the five of swords is you need to act in your own interest during this time and charge forward as the young emperor the young emperor you know is the growth it's the work it's the action it's the foresight and vision it can be an unexplored leadership role coming into play here and you've blocked negativity which is absolutely phenomenal so if this is a work venture my beautiful libra it's going to be yours you are going forward slightly blindfolded and probably it's a managerial role that you've never done before. But you've gained mastery during this time and know who you are. You've had a development of self. So you've got to be prepared for the renewal after the period of crisis and work on yourself during this time. That's what I get. You know, all relationships follow when you work on your vibrational frequency. I've told you so much. You are going to have a message coming in. So this, again, it's a message of the heart. It can be uh, to do with children. Absolutely, because we've got the Empress here and this can upskittle you when you get a message to do with children even or if something's been hidden from you with children then you know you're going to find out what that is now whatever's going to happen is you're going to celebrate the nine of cups is you're happily ever after all your cups are full it's absolutely beautiful it means you know it's material happiness emotional stability in the present and the future so what if it is something you're working towards it's bringing in all that joyous energy you are going to get messages and they cannot skittle your energy but I, with the kings here you need to just remain emotionally balanced during this time and that's what i get from that so there you go my beautiful libra that is your july part two if this is your read give me a thumbs up there completely private if you can leave me a message below a little heart or anything it's very much appreciated until next time from my heart to yours and bye bye for now